Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a cross tab but in this case we're going to be using multiple measures uh, instead of just a single measure as we did in our other video. So again it's going to start off pretty similarly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drag segment up onto our columns shelf. Uh, in this case we're going to drag uh, shipping mode out onto the row shelf to make the cross tab a bit smaller. So you can see and then we'll drag out our total of sales out um, here and then let's just go ahead and format this as a dollar so that it's a little bit cleaner. All right, so this is our first cross tab. This is what we did before. See, so we just make that a bit bigger. Um, so now we have the sum of sales uh, by consumer and first class, and you can see what the totals are um, in each of the boxes right here. But what if we wanted to add a second measure to that? Well, let's go back to our measure self. What we have to do um, is go ahead and add, say we wanted to know the total number of units. We just have to drag that out into our tab here. And you'll now see that we've converted um, our uh, we've got two rows now, and we've got an additional dimension called measure names. This measure names is uh, just the names of the two fields that we put in there, so in this case, sales and quantity. And you can see that uh, we've then got this additional shelf called the measure value shelf. Uh, and once we have this measure value shelf, we can actually continue to jump out as many things as we like, quantity sales, discount, and then profit. And we can add and take things away from this. Um, and it'll add them into the visualization um, under this measure names piece. If we wanted to rearrange this, we wanted to put this down here. Um, this measure names shelf and the measure values shelf um, behave just like um, regular, uh, regular dimensions um, and regular measures in this case. So that's how you create a, a cross tab using multiple uh, multiple measures. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There is a link to the workbook and to the data set in the video description. And if you like what you hear, then please subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next time.